What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to On Feet. This is where I check out new and old sneakers. I unbox them, give my first impressions, and after that, I show them off on feet. Today, I'm gonna be checking out a very, very popular shoe from Adidas. That's none other than the Adidas Azaleas. I got these ones in the black and white colorway, and I don't even think they actually sell this one on the site anymore. Um, so I got lucky. I got these on sale for pretty cheap. I can't remember how cheap I got them for, but I know it was pretty cheap. They're back at retail for $110. Some of them are $110, believe it or not. I can't, I would never, I'm going to tell you right now, I would never pay $110 for this shoe because I'm going to tell you some reasons why. Although they look very, very nice, I actually really love this colorway. That nice white upper with the black and then the reflective Adidas logos is fire to me and the sole or the bottom of the shoe is black. The grip on these are pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. They don't really have too much grip, not like at least the higher tier Adidas shoes. Um, you can even get a lot of other Adidas shoes that have better grip than these ones, at least in my opinion. As far as the comfort, these things, oh my gosh. You're looking for a flat foot type of shoe, this is it right here. I got these in the 10 and a half, they do fit true to size. Um, so that's a good thing. They do fit true to size. They can get a little narrow at the top as you all can kind of tell. They are not really comfy at all. Now I don't, I don't have, I never had pain when wearing them, but that's also because I wasn't wearing them for a long time. Like I wore these out to the movies. I wore these, uh, to the grocery store, which took maybe like an hour and a half, two hours. And when I was at the movies, I really was sitting down. So this was just, like I said, a style type of casual pair of shoes. I would never want to be wearing these after like three hours, to be honest. They, they're not comfy. They, the sole, the sole, luckily the midsole or whatever you want to call it. I forgot what the name of it is. It's glued on there. But this part right here, that is a, that's somewhat comfy. So it gives a little bit of cushion, but this Adipreen, it just isn't, it's just straight solid. Like it, it it's not comfy. The black. I mean, as you can tell, it's not fully black. It's like a mixed type of color black. Kind of like this, like you can tell there's like some gray undertones to it. It is black, but it's not like this black. The build of the shoe definitely isn't as like a higher tier type of Adidas. So you have to give it that. Now for the price when it was on sale and everything, then yeah, I'd say grab a pair. You know, they have a lot of colorways in this. Like they put these in rotation a lot. Uh, the Azaleas and the Osnovas as well as the Oswego. Uh, they love to do different colorways for those type of lineup shoes. On the back here, there is a little reflector right there. Like I said, I love the color of it, but the comfort, the build quality, as well as why in the world are the laces so freaking long? <laughs> like, I have to double tie this shoe because of how long the laces are. There's no reason for the laces to be as long as they are. I love the look of this shoe. I just wish this midsole i wish it was ultra boost foam <laughs> if, if it was ultra boost i wouldn't have a problem and ultra boost foam can be hard or it can be squishy depending on how they make it because i have squishy adidas foam and then i also have like the ultra boost 22s that are a harder more firm type of uh, foam but they feel better than what this feels like would i recommend you go get this shoe yes if the price is right no if it's at retail like it is right now, $110. Heck no, I would not pay that much for this shoe. Um, not for the build quality, no. But like I said, they're a solid pair of casual shoes for if you're if you're gonna pay maybe like 60 or 80 bucks. I just dislike the build quality on the price for this and the comfort, it's just not there. It's just, if this was more comfy, then I would probably say this could be even worth $100, but I would not pay $100 for this shoe. Let me know what you all think of this shoe. If you have a pair in the comment section below, or if you plan on getting a pair, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out.